Education Agents was created five years ago to accelerate the relationship building between international consultants and schools across the globe. Today I was lucky enough to be joined by Alison Lincoln Rich from Kent's Hill School in Maine in the United States who will provide you some excellent information about this school in advance of the great American boarding event. Hello everyone, my name is Alison Lincoln Rich and I'm here with Kent's Hill School in Kent's Hill, Maine and I'm so excited to have the opportunity to tell you about our school. We are located in Maine, which is the most northeast corner of the United States. We are a school for grades 9 through 12 and we also have a postgraduate program. Here at Kent's Hill, we really believe in connections and we believe in the connections that students make and how they really grow from those connections. We start the connections right out with our advisory program. We have a strong advisory program where each student is paired with a faculty member with three to four other students of different grade levels and different interests. So you start building your community from day one. We focus on academics here. Our academic model is a four-dimensional curriculum. Our four-dimensional curriculum starts out with the knowledge. The knowledge that everyone needs is so, so important. And then we think about the 21st century skills that our students need. And when we think of those, we think of creativity, we think of collaboration, we think of communication and critical thinking. And when you think about communication, really thinking about the written skills along with the verbal public speaking skills that we feel students really need to be successful at Kensil and beyond. With our um, connections that I talked about just a minute ago, really thinking about those connections and how we can encourage our kids to have as many connections as possible. Being a small school of about 200 students, it's really easy for everybody to know everybody. Kensal is a supportive, warm, close-knit community. It's your home away from home. We're a very dog-friendly campus and family-friendly campus, so you'll have plenty of pets on campus, just like at home, along with faculty members who have younger children and older children for you to have the opportunity to get to know as well. Um, here at Kensal, character is super important. And that's part of our four-dimensional curriculum. So really thinking about the characters in history and did they have a good moral character? And if they didn't, should we think some differently about them? And really building that in and also in self-identification. And so we think about this program called our PEAK program as a way for students to learn about themselves, really to identify who they are and what they're interested in. Look at their own moral character and what's important to them and their families and their communities and help build them to be the person that they really want to be. Kinsel's a school that we want people to embrace themselves and figure out themselves and who they want to be. We're not a school that has some cookie cutter, cookie cutter image of what we expect students to be. We value you as a student and what your interests are and help you pursue those interests. Um, and then our final, final piece of our four dimensional curriculum is reflection. Reflecting on what you've learned, really taking a step back and saying, what did I learn? What didn't I learn? Where do I need to go to get it? And we help you with that, really helping you to take control of your education and owning it. Another program that we really value here is our PEAK program. And our PEAK program stands for Principles, Ethics, and Action at Kensil. So like I've talked about, about how we really want to create students of good moral character that are set out to help others and define their causes and what's important to them and how they can help solve the community problems and our, our, in our world problems. And that is um, on a program where it starts out with the first part of it is self-identification. Again, thinking about what's important to you and why it's important to you and who do you want to be and how do you get there. And through, through this process, we go through many, many steps to help you to identify those things. We also add on civil discourse where we help our students have really challenging conversations and navigate those conversations around race and bias and really help them to create their cultural competencies so they know what it's like to be in a different place and how people are, may think a little bit differently than we do, but they have many of the same bonds that keep us together. Um, at Kensil, we also have a lot of extracurricular programs. So athletics here at Kensil is important as well. Um, we are a winter school here in Maine. We have lots of snow in the winter time. We have our own Alpine Center right on campus. And our kids uh, that are in our Alpine program are able to ski every day after school. We have three different levels of our Alpine program. So we have a recreational program for kids who are brand new to the sport or just want to ski for fun. And then we have both a varsity ski team and a JV ski team. 
where ski kids are skiing competitively. And we have really top skiers that are able to reach new heights here at Kensville and we're able to expand their horizons. And then we also have a snowboard program or a freestyle ski program. Over at our Alpine Center, we have some jumps and rails and boxes for our kids that want to partake in that program. We also, in the winter, have hockey, um, both boys and girls hockey. We have a beautiful NHL size hockey rink um, that they are able to use um, for most of the school year when they are here. Um, we also have basketball in the wintertime, as well as fitness. We believe in fitness and keeping our kids in shape and healthy. And the more exercise we get, the better we're able to think and the healthier people we are. We also have in the fall, we have soccer and um, field hockey and cross country running. Um, and, and in the springtime, we have lacrosse and baseball and softball and tennis. We also have an equestrian program where we partner with a barn that's about 20 minutes away. And so our students in the spring and the fall are able to go to the barn and be part of that program. It's, it's a lot of activities. Kensal has a really vibrant student body life. Um, so we have 33 clubs on campus. Those are all student empowered clubs. So students are interested in a, in a different thing that they wanna do and they can create a club and a faculty member will join them and make sure that they can get that club off the ground and really do the things that are fun for them. Um, on the weekends, Kensal is a really busy, active campus. Um, so we have activities that go on all the time on campus. And again, we go back to student empowered, really what our students want to do on the weekends, um, bingo and Mario Kart and all kinds of crafts and things like that, play pickup sports um, in the, in the, in the, on our rinks and all of our different spots. Um, we also have lots of trips off campus for our students so they can go into the local city and do some shopping and go out to eat and do the movies and all kinds of fun things like that. And, and we're in this beautiful lakes and mountain regions with four different seasons and we encourage our kids to be in the woods with us and going hiking and biking and all sorts of activities. So lots of things to do here at Kent Sills all weekend long, really busy time. Um, Another way that we really support our students here at Kent Hill is our advisory system. And so each faculty member is in charge of three to four students and they really develop those connections with those students so we can really help them grow and learn and foster. We're their supports. When something's not going right, they come to us. We're also the support for the parents. We're the go-between so you know what's happening on campus and you know what's going on. Often our kids don't really tell their parents so much. They're so excited and busy. So our advisors are here to make sure our parents know what's happening. Um, but again, we're that contact. We're the first person for them. And then we have our dorm life. And so really vibrant dorm life. We have two girls um, dorms and we have three boys dorms. And the girls are on one side of campus and the boys are on the other side of campus. And in those dorms are our faculty members. Our faculty live right in the dorms with them, with their families and their pets. Um, and so it really creates that close-knit community for people to be able to really grow and blossom and become themselves and be comfortable with themselves. For our students that are international, we also offer English language support. And so we make sure that our students can come here and be able to be successful in school, but learning some of the language that they still have some language acquisition skills that they need. So supporting them in those ways. And eventually they're in the classrooms and doing the same thing that everybody else is, really picking up English really quickly when you're immersed in it. Um, and we also offer a full service college counseling. So for our students that wanna stay on and graduate from Kenso and be able to go to the colleges in the US or anywhere in the world, um, we help you navigate that process from the day, the day you step on campus. It's always thinking about you know, your outcome. Where do you wanna go? What do you wanna do? And it changes and fluctuates as students get used to the community and get um, um, into seeing all kinds of different classes and options. So again, helping our students through that process so they can find the college of their dreams that they really wanna go to. And really, really colleges are meant for them. You know, our, our college counselors are well-versed in many colleges and there's so many wonderful options out there. So we wanna make sure that you know about all those options and help you get there. So again, thank you so much for letting me take a few minutes of your time to learn more about Kensal School. Again, my name is Allison Lincoln Rich, and I would be happy to help you and navigate um, what it might look like for one of your students uh, to be here at Kensal. Thank you so much for listening and have a wonderful day.